Assalamu alaikum students how are you all i hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel my dear one to scientific academy today our lecture is related to chapter 13 which is perimeter and area of plane figures i'm going to explain you exercise 13a your book is in syllabus mathematics one d1 man and i'm going to explain you question number 8 of exercise 13a so as before starting the lecture i have requested you that if you want more help regarding your subject then you can subscribe the channel all right students question number 8 is here you can see the question Okay, ji. So this is the question, and it's written that the perimeter of a rectangle, a rectangular field, is seventy meter, and its length is fifteen meter longer than its breadth. The field is surrounded by a concrete path, as shown in the figure. Find the area of the path. So we have to find out the area of the path. Basically, this is the rectangular field. Can you see that this is the rectangular field, and uh, it's surrounded by a concrete path. This is the concrete path. This rectangular field is surrounded. This is a field. This rectangular field is surrounded by this concrete path, and they are saying that we have to find out the area of the path. Basically, we have to find out to this area. So, if we find out the areas of the whole figure and area of this field, so we can find out the area of this path. How? By subtracting the area of field from this whole figure, from this whole path. Alright, students. So now let's see that what we have to do. Students, perimeter of this rectangular field is given. So as you can see that it's perimeter. So here we are going to find out the perimeter of the rectangular field. But for that we need length and breadth. It's written that the perimeter of the rectangular field of okay, the perimeter is given, which is seventy meter. All right, and its length is fifteen meter long, longer than its breadth. And they are saying that length is fifteen meter longer. Then its breadth. We do not know the breadth, so we will assume that the breadth is x. So as length is 15 meter longer, so I will add 15 in breadth. Breadth is x. We assume that breadth is s x, and length is 15 meter longer than breadth. So I will add 15 in the breadth, so I will get the length. So this is all about. Now I am going to use the write out the formula of the length and breadth of the perimeter. Okay, I am going to write out the formula of the perimeter of the rectangular field. So perimeter of any rectangular shape is perimeter is equal to two length plus breadth. Here I'm going to put the values. Perimeter we know that it's seventy, and length is x plus fifteen, and breadth is x. Now I'm going to solve it. This two is multiplying with this bracket, and we'll come to this side. It will divide. X plus x is two x plus fifteen. I have added this x and this x, so I got two x, and this is the fifteen. So when I will divide seventy with two, I will get to three are six to five are ten. Now this fifteen is adding over here. If we come to this side, it will subtract. So when I will subtract fifteen uh, from thirty-five, I will get. This two is multiplying with this. If we come to this side, it will divide. So x is equal to ten meter. As we assume that x is the breadth, so breadth is x. We have found the breadth, which is x. So breadth is x, and which is equal to ten. Now we are going to find out the length. As you know that the length is x plus fifteen. So I will add fifteen in x. As x is ten, so I will add ten in fifteen. So I will get twenty-five. So it means that the breadth is ten and the length is twenty-five. Breadth is ten and length is twenty-five. Now we can find out the area of the field. Okay, ji. You know that area of any rectangular shape is the formula to find out the area of any rectangular shape is length multiplied by breadth. As you can see that the length is twenty-five and breadth is ten. So the area is two fifty meters square. So now we have found the area of this rectangular field. Okay, now to find out the area of this path, we have to find out the area of the whole figure. Then, if we will subtract the area of the field from this whole figure, then we will find out the area of this path. So now I am going to erase it, and I am going to find out the area of the whole figure. I hope that you are clear till here. Okay. Ji. Okay, so as you can see that All right. Okay, what was the length of this field? Okay, let's write the length of the field. Length was I think it was breadth was x and it was 10. 
so length was 25 meter and breadth was 10 meter this was the length and breadth of the field now so we have to remember this okay students the length from it's told in the question that the length from here till here is 2.5 you know that to find out the length um, to find out the area of the whole figure we need to length from here till here and we need to breadth from here till here so now how would we find out uh, let's uh, find out with me so length is from here till here is 2.5 it means that the length from here till here is 2.5 the same this is the equal distance so in the same way this is also the same length if this is 2.5 this is also 2.5 so it means that the length from here till here is 2.5 now this mid area is length as you can see that this mid area is the length of the field and we have found the length of the field which is 25 meter so the length from here till here is 25 meter now the same is told that the length from here till here is 5 meter in the same way the length from here till here is 5 meter because distance is equal from both sides so now we have to find out this area it means that here the area, here the length from here till here is 5 meter again the length from here till here is 5 meter now this mid is the breadth of this rectangular field and we know the breadth of this rectangular field which is 10 so it means that the area from here till here is 10 meter now we can find out the length of the whole figure so length of whole figure add up all the values 2.5 25 and 2.5 2.5 plus 25 and plus 2.5 2.5 2.5 is 5 and 25 is 30 meter so length of the whole figure is 30 meter in the same way find out the breadth of the whole figure all right so breadth of the whole figure is 5 10 and 5 5 10 and 5 we will add so 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 10 is 20 meter so length of the breadth of the whole figure is 20 meter now we can find out the area of whole figure as you know that it's rectangle so the formula is length multiplied by breadth so length we have found which is 30 and breadth is 20 so it is 600 meter square so area of the whole figure is 600 meter square now we can find out the area of this part by subtracting the area of field from this whole figure. So now I'm going to erase it so that I can explain you. I hope that you are clear till here. Alright. Now area of the path. So we can find out the area of the path by subtracting the area of the field from this total area. So the total area was 600 and the area of the field was 250. So when I will subtract 250 from 600, I will get three fifty meters square. Three fifty meters clear. Uh, okay, so I hope that this question is clear to you. And uh, now let's come to question number nine. I'm going to explain you question number nine. Okay, students. Now question number nine is here. You can see the question. All right. And question number nine is. In the figure AD is equal to 23 meter, DP is equal to 7 meter and BR is equal to 13.5 meter. P is directly above R, find the area of the shaded region. So students, this is the shaded region. As you can see that, this is the shaded region. So we have to find out the area of the shaded region. Okay, can you see these dotted lines? So students, can you see these dotted, these two are the triangle basically. We have to find out this area of the shaded region and these two are the triangles. This is the triangle and this is the triangle and we have to find the area of this region. So we can find out the area of the re uh, this region if we find out the area of the triangles and we add them. So we have to find out the area of uh, both triangles and then we will add them to get the area of the shaded region. So students here this is the whole length. So can you see that? 
this whole length and this length is equal. If this length is 23 meter, it means that this whole length is 23 meter. This whole length is also 23 meter. And this line is the base line of both triangles. Okay, for the triangle, you need base and height. So any height, any perpendicular line from the base is its height. So height is also given. As you can see that the length from here till here is 13 meter. It means that here this is the, this is equal. These two lengths are equal. This is 13.5. This is also 13.5. It means that its length is 13.5 meter. All right. So in the same way, we have to find out the height of the second triangle. So here, any line, any perpendicular line from the base is its height. So here the height is given, which is 7 meters. So if this is 7 meters, this is also 7 meters. So this is 13.5 and the height from here is 7.5. So base is same of both triangles, which is 23. This is the baseline. So here the height is 13.5 and here is the height, height is 7 meter. Now I'm going to find out the area of uh, both triangles. Area of triangle 1, half base multiplied by height. So here the base is same, this is the baseline. This is the baseline of the both the triangles as this is the triangle and as this is the triangle. So baseline is same, okay. So baseline is same, so baseline is a 23 meter long. As this is 23, so this is also 23. Height is given in triangle 1. Let's suppose this is triangle 1 and this is triangle 2. So the height is given which is 13.5. Now we'll solve it. 23 multiplied by 13.5. 3, 10.5 and we have to divide it with 2. So I will get... 155.25 Now I have to find out the area of triangle 2 The same formula half base multiplied by height So here the base is same which is 23 meter And height over here is as you can see this is the height so height over here is 7 meter So 7 meter now we will solve it 23 multiplied by 7 will be equal to 161 and when I will divide it with 2 I will get 80.5 Okay now we have to find out the area of the shaded region so this is the shaded region where there are two triangles so I will just add the areas Area of shaded region So now I am going to add both areas 155.25 plus 80.5 So when I will add both areas I will get its total area of the shaded region. So students, your answer would be 235.75. 235.75 meter square. Okay, so I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. I do the practice of these sums because when you will do the practice, then this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much. Jai Allah Hafiz.